Hey guys, I actually had no intention of making a video today, but the uh, response that I've been receiving from a few of my last posts and just some emails, it's just easier to kind of get the information out this way. Uh, a while ago, I posted something on Instagram asking if any of you had been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease uh, and you have breast implants, and so many of you responded, yes, but what's shocking to me, and I want you guys to realize that y'all aren't crazy. Um, everyone's been diagnosed or misdiagnosed sometimes with a lot of the same ones. Um, lupus, Shrogan's. I just want you guys to realize that you're not crazy and you're not alone, and I kind of wish you could all talk to each other because it's truly, truly wild. The amount of women who are diagnosed with autoimmune diseases who have breast implants is just flat out alarming. Is it necessarily your, necessarily your breast implants? No, and I always make sure to say that. I know women who have had their implants for years and they are absolutely fine. So what I would do, uh, first things first, look at your lifestyle, look at your diet. What are you doing? Do you live this like crazy lifestyle and you're smoking and you're drinking and that's what you like to do and you like to eat junk food? Awesome, good for you. Chances are that could be having an impact too. Uh, what are you eating? Are you eating a lot of processed foods? Or do you have gluten in your diet? I know, oh, gluten, gluten, gluten-free, it's such a fad. I'll tell you what, I, I mean, I don't, I am not allergic to gluten, but I took it out and it made a huge difference for me. I completely cleaned up my diet. Nothing processed, almost everything organic no gluten, very few starches, and my health improved significantly. Did all of my symptoms disappear? No, but it helped a lot. So while you're going through this whole process and you're going to see all these doctors and you're getting diagnosed with all of these strange things, do some stuff on your own first, see how your body reacts, and then maybe it's time to look into your implants. This is a lot of information. I'm trying to answer all your emails. The best way to get the information and fast is by joining my email list, and you can find that on my website, jenherreratv.com.